Family Bookform has a very tight integration with Google Classroom. This means that it makes it even easier for you as the teacher to link your Family Bookform books to your Google Classroom class. Just go ahead and sign up with your using your Google account. Check out their ambassador program as well to get a code to save you more on your projects. When you start, you'll create your first project, giving it a project name. We recommend using the year, course name, and project name as your naming convention. After making your payment, you'll be able to select a graphic to use for your school logo. That gets printed on the back of the book. Here's a graphic that students made to represent our classroom. This is a great way to include art and design in your literacy or your history classroom. You simply upload the image and it will appear on the back of your book. That's all you need to get started and you're given a link to the project that's saved on the Family Book Form servers. Let's dive into the dashboard, which is the central hub for all of your Family Book Form projects. Here you'll find links to all of the projects, all of the students and other teachers who might be working on those, and a link to create the assignment in Google Classroom. You see here it has pulled in automatically those classes that are already set up in Google Classroom and it allows you to give a name for the assignment, a description, some total points that are linked into the gradebook in Classroom, the due date, and then all you have to do is click Create Assignment and you are done. It is set up automatically. You'll get a small confirmation message that the assignment has been created. And when you close that, you'll see other information about the course, as well as a link to view the project in Google Classroom. This will jump you over into the Google Classroom environment, where your family book form project has been automatically set up as an assignment in Classroom. Pretty easy. The student work area for grading is there. So everything is already set up. Back in the stream of the course and in the coursework area, you'll see the card there that has the information about this project in the correct location. From a student view, they see it in their stream and the announcement that it has been made. And when they click on it, it will open up the details of that assignment. Students use the link provided to access their family book form dashboard. And here is the central place for them to find all of the book projects that they have been added to. They click view book to open up the form that is what they'll use to write their book and to capture the narrations that are automatically transcribed. They'll be filling in their names, giving the book a title, and they can upload a photo that is going to be on the cover of their book. Pretty cool that there is a crop tool built right within Family Book Form to allow them to capture just the piece of the image they want to use on their cover. After they get all of that set up, they can dive into the core of the book, which are the narrations and the transcriptions. So I know there are other videos that are going to outline exactly how to do this, but this is just a quick look at how simple it is. Hello everyone, I am Avo and this is my book. I'm going to tell you a story about shoes which is told is said a lot about a person. After they stop the recording, that audio, tet, uh, audio file is uploaded to the servers and it will be transcribed automatically. Now you have to make sure that your microphone is working and that it's been allowed. And when you end the session, you will have a little um, drop down that says import transcription. Now at first, it's not going to say anything, it's going to say it's processing because you've just uploaded it. You give it a few minutes though, and you will refresh this later, and that text will automatically drop in there. We'll come back and look at that here in a second. While that's transcribing, we'll look at the other sections of the book, Family Book Form form. When you click on any of the pencils, you are able to make changes to the text that you see. In this case, Avo is going to start by interviewing himself, so he will have the first chapter of the book. And let's go back and let's check on that transcription and see how it's doing. We'll give it a quick refresh, and there you go. When you click Insert, it drops that text into the form for you. Now, you can see it did a pretty good job. It didn't get everything quite right, 
and it didn't have any punctuation and things like that. But this is where you get to go in and make some changes and edit the text before it gets published. So it had a problem. It had an issue with the way I said shoes. So we'll go back and edit it. Again, these are some literacy and some language lessons that can be brought in here. So they can make it read just as they want. Students continue on throughout the project and do other things like building out the rest of the chapters, adding photos and stuff. And when they're done, they come up with a final book. This is the digital book version that lives online and is available from their dashboard. And it contains all of the text and all of the photo pages and the customizations that they made in the project. On the back of the book is the school logo that they made. When they're done with the assignment, they can go back into classroom and use the turn in feature to indicate to the teacher that they're finished and that it's ready for assessment. Or you could use this for drafting stages as well. So in my teacher dashboard within Family Book Form, I see the project card there. And down at the bottom, there's a link that says Show Students and Teachers. When I pop it open, I see that Alvo has submitted his and that there's a link to it. Now, although there are other students in the class, they aren't shown until they click on the link in Classroom in order to generate their project. So that's an important thing for you to remember. They have to click on the link in Classroom for it to appear in your dashboard as using one of the licenses. So now we can take advantage of all of the features of Google Classroom when we are giving feedback or we are assessing the student work. These little tile cards come up and it'll show you how many people have turned it in. And in this case, when we go and we look at Avo as a student, he's going to click the turn in button. It asks him if he really wants to turn it in and have, if he wants to submit his work. He says, go ahead and turn it in. Now that's going to change some things. When we go and we look at the coursework page on Avos, we see that the card is still there, but that the icon is no longer orange. It's actually gray. That means he's turned it in and that it's out of his control. If I jump over here to my view as the teacher, I notice now that one student has submitted the assignment. When I click on that, it'll filter out those who have turned it in already, which is only Avo in this case. The three others have had it assigned, but they've not filled it or completed it yet. Since this is set up as a graded assignment, I have a point value that I can fill in. It can be based on a rubric or whatever, however you choose to do it. And it has a space at the bottom for me to have a conversation with the student, a private conversation that is just between us. I can return it to the student at any point as well. In this case, I'm going to leave a comment because this is a drafting setup. So I'll leave him some notes here that he'll be able to see when he logs in to his classroom. So now my message has been posted for him. So if we switch over to look at it from his viewpoint, here's the card for the assignment. And when he clicks on the link to the assignment, he'll be able to see the feedback I've given him. It's over here in the private comment section, whereas the class comments in the middle will, will be public for other students to see. He can reply to my private comments, and so we can have a conversation about his performance and about his project. Back out on the student work page, you'll see a summary of all of the information and the comments that I've put down for Avo, as well as the other students who haven't yet turned in their assignments. Within the student work section, I have links directly back to the book projects on the Family Book Form server. It makes it easy to access. And that's about it. That is the integration between Family Book Form and Google Classroom. I hope you found this information useful, and I can't wait to see the projects that you and your students come up with using Family Book Form and Google Classroom.